All right, I'd like to welcome you out to this week's report. I'm doing it a little bit later than normal tonight because uh, I just got back from fishing and I forgot to charge my camera battery, so I might cut out here and have to pick it back up whenever it uh, dies. And also my, uh, my dog ate my homework. I made a bunch of notes about things I want to talk about and uh, apparently uh, Marjean decided that uh, she needed to uh, chew it up. Anyway, uh, today is Thursday, the, I think the 18th of April. We've got good weather this weekend for a change, which is good news. Lots of good things happening. Um, so, uh, one of the things I started to talk about a couple weeks ago and I forgot about it was that the uh, Balboa England Club is taking sea bass heads for their collecting nodes to try and get the chips out of them. And uh, if you bring a sea bass head, you don't have to bring it the same day or anything, just freeze it. Take it to the Balboa England Club, you'll be read, uh, entered into a drawing. They got some good prizes. You can probably check that all out on their website or their Facebook page. So, uh, you sea bass guys, remember to uh, save those heads. And uh, speaking of sea bass, we're going to head to the Channel Islands. Uh, some caught up there this last week. A noteworthy one. I don't know if you guys saw my, uh, my thumbnail last week. Uh, it's Cole from up there. He uh, had a nice sea bass. He went back out. The other day and got a 64 pounder on his skiff uh, on a fluke bait and uh, pretty remarkable fish those big ones are definitely around up there as well as the small school size ones which is uh, pretty good news and I know some of the uh, the sport boats up there have also been getting a few sea bass not that size but uh, definitely a few around they're also getting some good halibut I know that the uh, coral sea out of Santa Barbara and the gray light out of Ventura and I'm, I think the Aloha Spirit have been getting some nice halibut so, you get up there on your own skiff, you got a shot at sea bass or halibut if you know how to fish for them. And if you're on a sport boat, you got a chance at uh, sea bass and halibut as well. Some of like the sport boats are uh, trying to snag live squid and use that as bait for the halibut. Um, if that doesn't work out, uh, the rock fishing up there has been phenomenal. Lots of big link cod, a lot of reds, just good quality fish up there in general. It's, uh, yeah, it's the uh, first weekend of decent weather we have, so if you're a private boater, you may want to take advantage of it. Or if you're a sport boat guy, be a good opportunity to do it as well. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm keeping this kind of short because I want the battery to die. But uh, heading down to uh, San Nicolas Island, Santa Barbara Island. Um, no real coverage at SBI, uh, but San Nick is having good rock fishing. The El Dorado out of Long Beach Sport Fishing is running trips out there. They're loading up shallow water stuff. I think they're still fishing within the last year's regulations. I haven't. I looked online earlier to see if there was any update on the changes, but I haven't seen anything yet. So uh, I think right now you can still keep four reds, uh, but you have to stay in less than 240 feet of water in a cow caught conservation area. But again, don't quote me on that. It could be, uh, could have changed. I didn't find anything this morning. So if you're going out and you're worried about it, I'd only keep two reds and uh, stay out of the cow caught conservation area. Uh, no real coverage at uh, San Clemente Island. Uh, again this week. I'm sure we're going to see some boats out there. The uh, Saltwater Bass Series has a tournament on Saturday, so I'm sure that some of the bass guys are going to run out there and see what they can catch. Probably have some info on that next week. Uh, into Catalina. Um, sport boats are mostly fishing rockfish, but they're also fishing halibut when they can. I, you know, and There's halibut to be caught. I know the, uh, the blackfish was over there, I think, yesterday. They had a bunch of nice halibut to go along with their rockfish. And um, I went to the island on Friday uh, afternoon. It was, uh, the weather was supposed to blow out of the south. It was really overcast, and that makes for poor fishing at PB. So we decided to run the cat. The weather was a little bit under forecast, but we had a lot of overcast. So Matt and I ran to the, we launched at 11, ran to the west end of the cat. Had really good bass fishing, just no standouts. Uh, they are biting the crankbait. They are biting the leadhead and swimbait. Uh, a lot of smaller fish. Just was off. You know, we did an earthquake uh, Friday morning or around noon at Signal Hill, and a lot of times earthquakes can, uh, can shut the bass bite down entirely. So, you know, that's always a thing. Um, should be decent there this weekend. Good weather anyway. You got a shot at halibut. You know, if you get some squid, you can fish along the beach with sardines. You probably get by with that. Uh, look for the areas of off color water, things like that. I'm going to take a pause here and check my, uh, my camera battery. Stand by. All right, it's holding out so far. I've got another one on the charger, so if it dies all together, I'll go do that. Um, i got a little video here back at the Calico on the crankbait. It just shows you kind of where we're fishing. 
that shallow riprap stuff. Uh, he's fishing the CR-16, I think. So uh, here's that. coast up here it's mostly rockfish for guys I know the native son is out fishing halibut I saw him when I went out this afternoon um, the bass fishing at PB today was pretty tough uh, we really had to look around we got out of the harbor about 3 o'clock made 2.45 and basically ran from uh, Point Furman to Rocky Point looked at all that stuff and we found one 200 foot stretch that was biting and what we found was uh, bait and birds in on the beach and shallow water with kelp. And uh, they're biting really good in there though. Uh, I was fishing a, that MC 7 inch slug on that little keel hook I fish. And Matt was fishing a, uh, a 5 inch MC Viejos on a, uh, on a light lead head. And we actually got some, I ran into uh, Oliver Nye from Big Bass Dreams at the ramp last Friday. And he gave us some lead heads to try out. And uh, Matt was using one with an underspin. And, uh, Pretty funny, white and yellow lead head with a brown and red bait, but uh, they didn't really care. Just burning it on a surface, cast it out, fishing it like a weedless, bass would come up, stop it, they'd eat it, just like normal weedless fishing, except with a lead head. Risto. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Ooh, that got shallow Thanks, quick. Oliver. Nice lead head. That got shallow quick. Huh? That got shallow quick. Oh. Oh, 
shallow. Oh, uh, it's just a couple feet under me. What? Yeah, it's just a couple feet of water under me. <laughs> that one almost broke my arm. <laughs> I got your arm broke? Almost. <laughs> almost. Wow, that's a big one. Oh my god, the size of that one underneath. Six pounder. Really? Yeah, it's a big one. Big follower. Good for this, man. And I think the deal was we tried to bigger weedless, but uh, they weren't on it. They were keyed in on a small bait. And um, we probably had 25 fish out of that stretch. And uh, so for that, it was good. But, you know, if you go up there and it looks good and you got current and everything else, but there's no bait and no birds this time of year, it can be tough. And also we had 61 degree water up there, which is pretty cold, but the fish were still feeding on the surface. But we were, again, we had the boat and, you know, I would say six to 10 feet of water fishing along the shoreline. So if you're not comfortable with doing that, uh, you could probably catch some fish on the deeper kelp streams, but you have to fish a bait that you probably got to sink it out right now until it warms up a little bit more. Um, boat fish and rock fish out at the 14 are doing real well still. Uh, and in other deep spots along the coast. Uh, an interesting story, my friend John Curry went out yesterday to fish deep water cod and they were fishing in uh, 1,300 feet of water and uh, while they're catching rockfish, they uh, were eating some fried chicken he brought from Albertsons and uh, he actually uh, threw a chicken bone over the side after he got done eating it and uh, apparently it sank all the way to the bottom and was eaten by a, a sable fish because he caught a sable fish a little bit later and when he was flaying it, it had a chicken bone that actually came out of the fish. He sent me this little video here. So yeah, you know, coastal, if you want to fish bass, you'd probably be better off fishing sand bass right now with the water temp the way it is, um, a little bit deeper. We had good fishing on the pipe last week in, in fairly cool water. Um, down in San Diego, uh, they're catching a lot of halibut in San Diego Bay. A lot of those fish are coming from shallow water in the bay. The guys that know what they're doing are doing pretty well. Even the, uh, the half-day boat out of... Uh, Fisherman's Landing there, I think it is. The dolphin went out and uh, fished inside the bay the other day. Had some nice halibut as well. Uh, there are some yellows at the Coronado Islands. Uh, no big hits yet. I think the uh, Liberty, one of the boats, had a, had a few fish, which is a good sign. I'm sure there'll be boats, some boats down there this weekend checking that out as well. Uh, yellows are still biting for the boats in Ensenada. So there's definitely some fish on the beach that should continue to make their way up here, hopefully. And uh, they relocated the bluefin yesterday night, I guess. The American Angler and maybe the Independence uh, got on some fish. And the American Angler had 22 fish. They say they're within one and a half day range, so that's good news. Uh, plenty of boats out this weekend, I would imagine. So hopefully they get those things rounded up and uh, start catching them again. Really uh, could go for some of that for everybody. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a short report today because... Uh, uh, my battery's about to die, but I uh, just want to get out to you guys, and I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend, and good luck if you fish.